Hi friends, welcome to this class. In last class, I didn't answer one question. That is, why electrophile attacks only the third position of indoor? One, two, three, third position of indoor. That was our question. So this is this class is for why it attacks at third position. So I am going to discuss the mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction in case of indoor. See, the electrophiles are electron deficient, and we know that indoor is electron rich because of pi electron cloud. So these electrophiles, which are electron deficient, are going to attack this indoor. So see, if this is the compound and it undergo dissociation like this e plus and z minus e plus is nothing but electrophile why it is deficient of electron so it is having plus charge so this electrophiles are going to attack the third position if this electrophile attacks this third position see what happens this is our benzene ring benzene and this is pyrrole ring it attacks third position when it has electron rich here and it gets electron deficient so it will form h here e plus e plus becomes neutral e and here it gets positive charge and we have nitrogen here like this one pair of electron this is the structure what we get see the beauty of organic chemistry is see this is neutral and this is positive charge totally it is positive and see the compound what we form here also it is positive so charge neither be created nor be destroyed so it is conservation of charge if you know this phenomena you can easily write the mechanism so see since it is electron deficient this carbon is electron deficient this nitrogen is going to give electron to this carbon so my next canonical structure or the resonating structure will be like this see this is my next canonical structure because of donation of that two lone pair of electron it gets positive charge and here it is e and h see i told in my previous videos i told nitrogen is more electronegative if it gets positive charge it will be highly unstable if it gets negative charge then it's okay because it is more electronegative it has the ability to hold that negative charge but it can't have the ability to hold positive charge but i am here i am telling this is stable it is because we know octet rule see here this is nitrogen i have one sigma bond one sigma bond one pi bond and here one sigma bond totally 2 4 6 8 since this this nitrogen is like having eight electrons so it satisfied octet since it satisfied octet even it, it may be electronegative and it is having positive charge but it has eight electrons with it it satisfies octet rule so it is more stable so if electrophile electron deficient species attack the third position we are going to get this compound and this is the resonating structure it is also stable because of octet rule so the electrophile will attack third position so the final product will be like this the electrophile attack in the third position and hydrogen is here and the positive charge on this carbon this h will go as proton h plus and this electron is going to shift here so my final product will be like this this is benzene ring as it is and here i have got hydrogen lone pair of electron this bond shift here so double bond instead of hydrogen electrophile has come and this is our indoor what we call three electrophile indoor three nitro indoor three so we name it like three electrophile indoor this is our final product and see here the hydrogen is replaced by electrophile that is substitution we substitute by instead of hydrogen we take electrophile it didn't undergo any addition reaction if we, it undergoes addition reaction see if we undergo addition reaction like this here also if it can undergo addition reaction now you come this will be having totally see 2 4 6 8 5 electron but to get aromaticity we know we need 10 5 electrons 
If you get 10 pi electrons, then only it is aromatic. Since here it is 8 pi electron, it is anti-aromatic, which is highly unstable. So, such compounds we not see. We cannot see such compounds. These are not be isolated and we, we won't see anywhere here. Because these are uh, unstable, because these are anti-aromatic. So, we will not see any addition reaction, but we see only substitution reaction in which hydrogen is replaced by electrophile and total we will have a 10 pi electron. See, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Since it is 10 pi electron, it is aromatic and it is more stable and we isolate. We see such compounds. So, we are discussing about indole. Any anti-aromatic we have never come across. We discuss in the mechanism for our understanding. It is anti-aromatic, its energy we will discuss for understanding. But we never see such compounds in our reality, in our daily usage. So it is about indole and why it attacks at the position 3. And also we have, I have some reactions, some other reactions with indole. Let us discuss and we shall end this video. In the next video we shall prepare this indole in our class itself. It will be fine. Will it? So the next reactions of indole are see this is our indole. I am going to write like this indole. If you, are, you know this is indole and if we treat it with strong reducing agent see I know the strong reducing agent is nothing but nickel in presence of hydrogen when we heat we are going to get strong reducing agent and it is going to reduce this indole so like this See, this is octahydroindole. Octa hydro indole. What happens in this? See, in presence of this, the four H2 molecule, four molecules of hydrogen, totally eight hydrogens are there here. All these eight hydrogens add here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Totally 8 hydrogens add and the double bonds will be vanished and we are going to get this compound. So, octa means 8, hydro means hydrogen, octahydro indole. For indole, we have treated with strong reducing agent and we got octahydro indole. If you treat with SN, HCl, it is also a reducing agent. But it is a mild reducing agent, whereas it is a strong reducing agent. So what we get here is, see, the benzene ring remain as it is. This is benzene ring without any loss. And here, what happens is, we had double bond here, but that double bond is absent here because the two hydrogens, two hydrogens are going to add here like this. One hydrogen here, other hydrogen here, by removing that double bond. So what we got here is the compound is 2 comma 3 because 1, 2, 3, 2 comma 3 di, di means 2, hydro, 2 hydro, this is indole. Whereas there we got octahedro, 8 oxygen added, here only 2 hydrogens at position 2 and 3. So it is 2 comma 3 dihydro indole. And also we have got some other electrophilic reactions like disonium salt, BDC, benzene disonium chloride. We have learned in our 12th class as well as in our basic science study and this is our indole. See, this is our indole and we know BDC, benzene disonium chloride. Like this we will write benzene disonium chloride. See, it is called benzene disonium chloride, BDC. This is benzene ring, disonium, azo group and chloride group. It is about BDC. Since it is also having electron deficient, no electrons here, it is also electron deficient. It also acts as electrophile. And we know that electrophile are going to attack at position 3. This BDC is also represented as like this AG. Instead of writing like this, they will write AG N2 Cl, N2 plus Cl minus. Because C6H4 benzene 3 can be done as like this. Aryl group. Aryl. Aryl means aromatic compounds. Those are aryl group. And the product will be, see, this is our product. 
that uh, electrophile will replace hydrogen and we get electrophile like this N, triple bond N and we have benzene ring. This is our product. What we get and the name for this is 3 3 phenyl 3 phenyl azo indole because this group is going to attack at third position so it is 3 phenyl means this one aryl group C6H5 is known as phenyl azo means N double bond azo group indole that is this one so this is the electrophilic substitution and we I think I have successfully explained why it happens and why it is so. So in next class we shall prepare it and then we shall end this discussion. So if you like this video, you play you please give me a thumbs up. If you feel like to share the video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you are not a member of this channel. So if and you have any doubts on any other topic, you please go go below and comment there in comment box. So we shall meet in next class. Till then take care and have a great day. Bye.